All right, let's talk about promotion and finding ways to market and promote yourself. You know, in order to market and promote yourself effectively, you need to have a certain amount of confidence in your abilities. And you need to know who you are, you know, what you do, and how you do it. I think the best promoters are inspiring people. Uh, when it comes to, to self-promotion, you know, thinking, thinking bold and new uh, is good for you. You know, think about it. Nobody ever got to the top by thinking small. Uh, you know, do something big and bold or, or new and creative. Do something that gives people an idea of who you are, how you think, and how you approach things. The goal here is to stand above the competition. It should make people want to know more about you. Uh, and you can do this by being clever, unique, and different. But I think, most importantly, you need to just be yourself. Don't try to be someone else. Uh, you know, people can smell a fake a mile away. There's nothing more inspiring than uh, to be getting paid to be yourself. Now, Casey Templeton is a commercial photographer uh, based in Richmond, Virginia. He won the College Photographer of the Year Award back in uh, in 2005, which, in my book, makes him still uh, extremely young. Um, he's really clever, and he came up with one of the best self-promotion campaigns I've ever seen. He created a, uh, a lunch tin that contained his images and business cards, but he also put several other really clever things into that tin. You know, stuff like a can of Diet Coke, a cigar and with matches, um, and uh, a, stel uh, still, a stamped self-addressed postcard where potential clients could get a free t-shirt uh, from him among some other things. His 2010 promo was so successful it was written up in magazines um, and it's the reason why I wanted him to join us here uh, to chat about promo campaigns. So and if you want to see what was in that lunch tin, you can go to his blog. He has a really great uh, video there that shows everything that was inside, uh, a little behind the scenes stuff. So. Let's get Casey on the line and talk about self-promotion. Okay, we have uh, Casey Templeton on the line all the way from Richmond, Virginia. Hello, Casey. Hi, Grover. Uh, glad you could be here. Um, I want to talk to you about uh, finding new ways to market and promote yourself. This is something that I think a lot of photographers have a uh, tremendous challenge with. Um, so let me get started. Um, you know, when you're marketing yourself, um, the service you promote is your own personal vision. Um, so how do you describe personal vision to a client effectively? Well, the way I would describe personal vision is kind of like your, your fingerprint. You know, everybody has one, and um, that's basically the only thing that we can offer to a client that's different than everybody else. And so I think the first priority is finding your personal vision and a lot of that just comes in trusting yourself, trusting your eye, trusting how you see the world. Um, but something that can be very discouraging about a personal vision is that since your personal vision is the way that you see things, you often get very jaded to the way that you see things. So when you look at your own photography, it becomes very boring to you because – it's nothing more than just an extension of what you see every day. And so that's why sometimes when you see other photographers work and you're so blown away by it, um, you know, you can definitely get discouraged, but it's mostly because you're seeing the world in a different way when you're looking at somebody else's work. Right. So how do you, how do you specifically describe when you're talking to a client, how do you uh, convey or, uh, describe your personal vision? How do you put it into words or communicate it? Well, the way that, the way that I would communicate the way that I see the world and like my personal vision is basically um, hopefully in a way that when I see something, even if somebody's sitting next to me, it might be in a completely different, uh, might be in a completely different framing that somebody else would be thinking about. Um, and so I often try to let them know that, hey, just because like this is your, this is what you have in mind and this is what you see in front of us. And like, um, for instance, like a lot of the work that I do, I work with large corporations 
and I come in and I help them with their image libraries. And so I'll explain to them, hey, just because this is like your main headquarters and this is what you see every day and it's very boring to you, and these are the people you see every day for the past 15 years and it's very boring to you, um, I try to let them know that I can capture them in a completely different way than what you're used to. And it's going to be something that um, hopefully takes you, you know, takes you by surprise and will allow you to see everything around you and everything that your company um, stands for in a completely different way. So um, most of the time it's, it's a lot of, you know, rather than saying, hey, trust me, it's more so just saying, hey, I promise you that I can show you what you're seeing in a completely different way. And it often helps if I have a camera with me at the time and we might just look at the very same thing and I can show them how I can photograph that one particular boring thing in multiple ways. And if I can show it to them on the back of my camera, that's an automatic way for them to say, oh, wow, I didn't even think of that. And oftentimes that gets them pretty excited to think of the project as a whole. Okay, cool. Now, you, you mentioned it, so let's get into it. Let's do this top 10 list. So, uh, Sorry about that. It's, it's, so if I were to ask you a top 10 list, uh, to c compile a top 10 list of ways people can come up with ideas to, uh, to successfully promote themselves, what would you throw on that list? Okay, in no order. Um, and, of course, right off the top of my head, let me see. I would say uh, promote work that you love, not just what you think others will love. Um, number two, presentation of your work is sometimes just as important as the work itself. And number three goes directly with number two is know your strengths and fill the gaps. So hire a designer. Uh, just talking a little bit about that is, you know, we're photographers and we might be great at what we do, but we also need to understand that like where we have our strengths, we also have our weaknesses. And so we need to find somebody that has just as much strengths in their design work and their website work and their copy work as we do in our photography. So that way our entire brand can be at the same level across the board. Um, number four, prioritize your company. Be sure that, um, that what you're promoting is really what you want and then go after it. So, you know, uh, you know, sometimes I shoot weddings, but weddings isn't something that my heart is like so passionate about. And so I'm not going to spend so much time promoting my weddings as I am about, you know, maybe my commercial advertising work, my lifestyle work, um, and even to my, my stock photography work. Let me see. Um, don't be limited by your budget. There are so many ways to promote yourself at little or no cost. Um, and this kind of goes both ways is um, – also, before you start getting stingy on your budget on promoting yourself, you need to be thinking about um, how quickly that you can get paid back for the promo that you're doing. So it could just be one big job could just pay off everything, or it could just be you know a few good sales of a stock photo are going to be able to take care of all the costs of your promotion. So, um, but on the flip side, if you're a student and you have no budget for promoting yourself, you need to be thinking of ways that you can you can do this for free. So it could be making your own um, business cards or, you know, teaming up with some of your buddies that, you know, are doing websites and other design work and they want to find something for their portfolio. So just team up with them and um, you can, you can come together and create something pretty powerful at little or no, no cost. Uh, let's see. Number six, leave multiple, multiple touch points within any promotion you do include a business card, um, as well as anything people think twice about throwing away. Uh, and this also includes like standalone prints. So if you send a whole portfolio and you have this huge poster and all your photos are all connected, um, most of the time people might hold on to it, but they might not like pin it up on their wall. Um, so you need to be able to, to be able to put everything in there that maybe just one piece of it, they're going to end up like pinning up in their cubicle. Um, let's see, allow a way for your recipients to easily respond. Uh, for example, a self-addressed postcard. Um, that was one of the biggest things with the promo that I sent out was I put together a, um, a free t-shirt mailer card and it was already addressed to, to myself and it had a way of 
people selecting a t-shirt style and a t-shirt size that they wanted. And it left a space for them to write a comment. It left a, a box to where they can say, yes, send a portfolio. Um, so there was multiple things on that card and all they had to do was fill it out and just put it in the mail. And so I got an amazing response from that. Let's see. Um, number nine is strike a good balance between strategy and execution. Both need to be adequate. And if either fails, your business is going to feel it. Um, I can go into that in more detail if you like to, but I'd rather just get on with number 10, which is one of the most important ones is, um, when you're thinking of ways of promoting yourself, you definitely need to just have fun with it because I think that's going to show through the most is if it's something that you put your heart into and you really enjoy doing it, it's going to be something that people are really going to enjoy receiving. Right. You know what? I think somewhere along the line we skipped one. Yes. Sorry about that. <laughs> Try something you've never seen before or at the very least make it your own. Um, you know, there's a lot of things have been done. And so one of the biggest things that you can do is not start not start your promotional research by doing a Google of a Google search of self promotions because what's going to happen is you're going to start seeing all of these things and then you're going to think oh wow that could be really cool and then you're automatically going to um, stunt yourself from from basically trying to think of something on your own and something that is more um, unique. So I think the first steps would be to not do a Google search of self-promotions, but be able to um, start coming up with ideas on your own or, you know, take a few of your buddies out for a beer and just start thinking about this. And that's that's typically where my ideas come from is just over food and just having an open discussion with creative people. And so that's going to be the best way of coming up with something unique rather than copying somebody else. Well, thank you very much. This has been uh, really great. Hey, no problem. Thanks, man.